K means cluster analysis in Jamovi is a statistical test that partition or classify a set of data that have several variables. Those variables are measured as or at uh, scale uh, or ordinal and uh, uh, cases of participant uh, that range from few hundred or hundreds to thousands. The test will classify and arrange those data into groups or clusters and in each cluster a collection of uh, observations or data points that have similar similarity are arranged in one cluster and the uh, distance of that data or this data point from the center of the cluster which is the mean uh, is calculated and each cluster is distance from another cluster and the data set in one cluster is dissimilar from the data in another cluster. Here in Jamovi, I will insert data uh, collected for 3000 as shown here clients or customers up to 3000 here uh, those 3000 cases uh, are placed in this data view in Jamovi and there are several variables uh, the first one is the sex which is the gender of the participant whether it's male or female the uh, marital status whether married or single education whether have a master degree a bachelor degree or a gcse uh, certificate profession whether uh, he or she is a doctor nurse or dentist and the age of each client or customer is recorded and the salary earned by each individual is given in pounds and the debits that person have or owe to a bank is given also a variable that uh, include in it a family member members or the number of family members is uh, also included and the years of uh, um, experiences and working uh, in a profession and finally uh, final variables which is satisfaction uh, that measures how how satisfied is the individual in their job on a scale from one to ten so here there are several nominal variables such as the six the marital status the education and profession and scale variable or continuous variable such as age salary debts family member years and ordinal which is satisfaction uh, that is measured from a scale of one to ten to classify and partition this large set of data that contains six variables here five um, scale and one ordinal and the three thousand participant in two clusters then the k means cluster analysis will be performed in the movie and to do that first of all if you don't have the function for the snow cluster then download that by clicking on the modules here the plus sign and then look for the snow cluster and download and install the 
snow cluster click on the snow cluster click and select the k-means clustering methods and new window is appearing here in the new window here uh, select the five scale variables and the satisfaction and move it to the variable box in the k-mean analysis options click on standardizing the variables since those variables age salary dates and family and years are measured each at different scale then standardization is essential uh, prior to performing the cluster analysis and z score or standardizing on a z score is performed by ticking on the standardized variable for the number of cluster select three and for save click on cluster number in the table of clusters uh, as shown here three clusters cluster one two and three the age shows that cluster number one have the oldest individual cluster two is the intermediate age and cluster three has the youngest individual in it the salary cluster one has the highest salary then the second highest salary is in cluster two and cluster three has the lowest salary or participant that earn lowest the depth cluster one have the highest um, depth um, and then cluster two is the second highest and cluster three is the lowest depth cluster uh, uh, one two and three for family shows that cluster one is the highest and uh, cluster three is the lowest for years again cluster one is the highest years of experience and cluster three has the lowest and similarly satisfaction um, variables uh, cluster one have the highest and cluster three has the lowest satisfaction once you tick on the cluster number a cluster number is given to each individual participant or case in this case participant number one is assigned to cluster one and participant number two is assigned to cluster number three and case number three is assigned to cluster one so all the three thousands cases or clients has been assigned or arranged or classified into one of these three clusters we could also go back again and change the number of clusters into four clusters and click enter the data is rearranged or classified into four clusters and the clustering table is given here and the centroid table is generated in this table so this is the way to perform K means clustering in Jamovi.